<laughs> You'll regret that. Done playing nice. You were right. That really works. Thanks. Glad to be of service. So what now? I'll go see where our dearest sage is. Saddled the horses. Siri, it's the crack of dawn. Where do you want to go? To Velen, Bald Mountain. But a few days till the Witch's Sabbath. And guess who's the guest of honor? Don't know. Enlighten me. Imlarith. We'll have no better chance to get him. Where do you get this idea? What's gotten into you? I must avenge Vesemir. The Sabbath. It's the perfect opportunity. Imlarith will be drunk among his cohorts, caught up in the revelry. He'll not expect the blow. Why do I doubt Avalak's a fan of this idea? Do you see him here? I left him a letter. We'll rejoin him in Novigrad. Come. We shall talk on the way. Lead on. Ready? Let's go. After the Battle of Kaer Morhen, the defenders licked their wounds and mourned their losses, save Ciri who began to plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die. The men at Crow's Perch, they spoke of this place. Ard Serbin, home of the ladies of the wood. The peasants feared coming here, and the barons thought the ladies of the wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the baron is. He found his wife, took her away somewhere far. Anna, she was unwell. A true shame. We stand to find Imlarith here? You sure? 
Avalok told me of beings who commune with the NL Elves. They can be found in every part of our world. In Velen, the Crones do this. Apparently, Imlarith came here at Eridan's behest, to order the Crones to keep their eyes open and ears pricked, in case Avalok were to seek shelter in his Velen hideout. Took the order literally, judging by all the ears hanging in the woods. Think Imlarith might still be here? He craves the pleasures of the flesh, wine, sex. The crones indulge him, flatter his ego. I'm certain he'd not let this opportunity pass, and will be on Bull Mountain for the Sabbath. You actually know this area? Centuries ago, it was a hallowed site for druids. But then the crones arrived, destroyed the Velen Circle, and deformed the sacred oak atop the mountain. An important feast is observed here annually. The Sabbath, they call it. All the local folk attend. I suspect Imlarith attends too, as the Crone's guest. Seem to know it well. Avalark's a good tutor. Let's get this done. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imlarith there. The peasant folk of Velen call this night the Feast of Gifts. Dear, why? Loads of footprints. A crowd of peasants came through here. Geralt, Avalach claims vanity is Imlaris' greatest weakness. Vanity? Any foe he faces, he strives to impress. The other one, Caranthia, is said to be secretive and pragmatic. Hardly surprising, given he was Avalog's student. Should I shoot? The white one once served the ladies. But he's an outsider! Let them approach. But they've come for the feast. Wouldn't do to cast them out. Didn't come to celebrate. We need to get to the top of the mountain. The gate is shut. You'll not pass. But we fires down that way, with food and drink plenty. Sit down beside one, and perhaps this year the ladies will descend. Give us the privilege of seeing them. We thank you for the invitation. Be glad to sit down, right? Speak for yourself. Come with me. Mentioned a gate, said we wouldn't pass. Only the chosen visit the ladies. Every year, young lads and lasses climb the mount, but never more than three. Let me guess, the young lads and lasses don't return. No, they return happy and radiant. But rare is the one who then stays in Velen. Off they go to seek fortune in the wider world. Ladies of the wood visit you? If they favor us. My father told me they descended once. Passed from fire to fire. Lit Haven't done it in a long time, then. No point waiting to see if we'll get lucky. Yeah, we gotta try to reach the peak. We should be going. Eager to see the ladies. I share your yearning. We're a fire with yearning. Come, Geralt. We must get there before daybreak. Go to the tent and stand before Thecla. She's the one who decides who's worthy to face the ladies. That's him. Geralt! Welcome. Yeah?
so long. Your grandmother said they came down the boundary just to force a plenty of ladies. Merciful ladies. My grandson, give him out. Look, a child. No, a godling. I know him. Name's Johnny. Well, old B, you're back. Uh, and I see you found your lass. I'm Johnny. We've had the pleasure already. A bit one-sided, though, it was. See, I saw you running. You're back to me. As I was <laughs> having the pleasure of... Oh, tis a long story. They call me Siri. Nice to meet you. How are things, Johnny? Health's good, so no complaints. What brings you here? What are you doing here? Last we met, you and the Crones weren't exactly friends. I got an invitation I couldn't refuse. Same as every year. In their book. So I come, wander about, and go home. We gotta climb the mountain. Can you help? I'd rather try to dissuade you, but I'm certain that would be in vain. The lass, she is stubborn as you. Even more so. Figured as much. Oh, path to the peak starts there, past the gate. But only old Thekla's got the key, so since you shan't ever get it, you best turn back now. The key. Why do you doubt we can get it? Good grief! You're worse than children! Three souls are allowed atop the mountain, and only strapping young lads or comely lasses among them. They get the key, open the gate, and meet the ladies. I believe I qualify. But he's old and ugly. What good is he? Pretty damn good at finding lost voices. Then go find the voice of reason. It'll tell you to turn back. There's no fooling with the ladies. We're here to find an elf named Imlarith. Siri thinks he might be a guest of the Crones. Big bloke, in full plate? Going the right way. He's atop the mountain, all right. You've seen him? Saw him in the bog first. Water froze beneath his horse's hooves. Then I saw him again yesterday, heading up this path. Why are you looking for him? He killed my friend. Wouldn't seek revenge if I were you. Even the ladies bow and scrape before that one. Gotta get to the summit. Simple as that. It's Thecla you'll need to convince. She's blind as your bum, but she won't be fooled. We shan't try to trick her. She sits in that tent over yonder. I wish you luck and do hope we meet again someday. Moons are rising, owls hoot, fires just a owls slumber cozy. It's not ready! You've got to wait! They'll not come this year. Every well, yeah, night we get to fill our bellies to the oh. brim. No, no! If the lady's None of got this work. It's clearing up. Mm. Who's that? Well, come on, come closer, girl. Aye, what's she like? Narrow hips, sparkly eyes, a striking feisty lass. Never had a man. <sighs> Never mind. Got me answer. I choose you, girl. This night you shall see the ladies. Siri. Wonderful. Who wouldn't want to meet the ladies? My companion comes with me. <laughs> what else has the cat dragged in? It's grey and veiny, got a scar and eyes like a viper. Aye. <sighs> Stinks of clotted blood and corpses. Plus it's old and infertile. I reject ye, freak. The girl will ascend alone. You misjudged me. I'm worthy as anyone. Mm. 
girl. He's sprier than any youth. Only smells like corpses because he kills monsters. And he'll kill any who stand in his way. Perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps there's life in him yet. By ancient right you may appeal my choice. But to do so you must best the challenge. What kind of challenge? Tell him. You must descend into the cave and bathe in the waters below the earth. What's the catch? The water's deep. The water's murky. I accept the challenge. <laughs> Come. Look this over. A coin from days of yore. Falker burns on its reverse, so they call it the Defiers Aura. Now, bring me the coin. Something's afoot. Something's nigh. Something's afoot. Something's nigh. Beginning to worry. Come, let's get the key. Something's nigh. They're back. What do you want? Can't help but be curious. What's at the summit? Tell him. The ladies dwell there, but only the chosen may look upon them. I know that. I want. You'll learn nothing else here. Got that coin you tossed in the lake. It reeks of sludge. Nothing I can do about that. So, can I keep your word? I always do, my boy. Show the coin to the gatekeeper past the threshold. He'll know its meaning. Marika will open the gate for ye. Now go! When 
smoothly. Weren't the one to do the diving in that cave. Stop one. You're a witcher. You've dived in murkier waters. Yeah, I have to tell you about the time I hunted a Zugo. Geralt? Last of the Chosen will now ascend the mount to the feet. Yours. Mm -hmm. Your name don't matter. Atop the peak, you'll lose it and get another. You may go. And you? I passed the trial. Here's proof. Recognize it? The Defiers, Oren. A death sentence. No time to lose. I'll tend to Imlirith, you take the crones. Avalark said they dwell below the oak, among its roots. No chance. I'm going after Imlirith. <sighs> Fine, let's play for it. Rock, paper, scissors. Damn it! Two out of three! Out of the question. I'll climb the mountain, you face the crones. Hardly a challenge. They're extremely dangerous. Be careful. You too. Let's get down there. Oh, hell. I guess I must jump. 